So, when I got home from work today, I had this on my doorstep. This is Blue Apron. It's a food delivery service, and I should mention, I'm not sponsored by anybody. Seriously, I don't even run ads on my YouTube videos. Um, I decided to sign up for basically a week's worth of meals, just to try it out. There was a decent special. It was only a little more expensive than what I would normally pay for myself. Hello, Asun. And, well, this is my unboxing. Never done an unboxing before. I wonder how I'd be at this. Probably not very good because my kitties would try to help me. It's surprisingly difficult to unbox and hold the camera at the same time to make sure that I'm at least getting something. Okay. Enjoy. Should mention there are perishable foods inside. Handling and storage, please refrigerate. Go to that website for more information. Eco packaging. Cool, you could recycle this. And from the farm. Hey, look, here's ingredients and the recipes that I have. So we have scallions from the farm, apparently. Not Rob Scallion, though. I am, in fact, familiar with how to use scallions. I'm actually a fairly big fan of scallions. Fun facts of scallions. Ooh. The name, food science. Did you know scallion pancake? I did not know that, actually. Hmm. And how they're harvested. Difference between scallions and spring onions. How to store scallions. Cool. So these are the meals that I have. I have three meals total. The first one is the Nepalese chicken takari, I'm going to guess. Anyway. Uh, let's see, give you a brief description of what it is. What to pair with. They also sell wines. Since I don't drink, I didn't try that, but whatever. And a picture of what it's supposed to look like when somebody prepares it and uses a bunch of fake foods because pictures of food actually never look like the real food. And here's the ingredients. Uh, let's see. Bunless, skinless chicken breasts, jasmine rice, down is in. Spinach, garlic, scallions, and then some extra stuff, some ginger, the Dakari spice blend, and some creme de franche. Um, this is not bad at all. Fairly... Eh, it's actually not that bad on calories. Prep time 10 minutes, cook time 25-30 minutes, that's not bad at all. Ooh, now this is really fancy looking. I like this. I'm totally going to keep these and put them into like a binder. Probably even scan them. Prepare ingredients. Start the rice. Who can drain the spinach. I don't think I've ever actually cooked spinach before. I've only ever had it raw, or only prepared it raw. Hmm. Uh, cook the chicken. This won't be too hard. It won't trigger my pyrophobia. Make tomato sauce. Yeah, this is not that hard. And plate it. Interesting. Okay, that's a good contender for what I want to eat tonight. Next one is barbecue spiced salmon with roasted sweet potato rounds. I love sweet potatoes, which is the reason why I grabbed this. I'm not a huge fan of, of arugula in general, but it's not bad. Uh, let's see, brief description. Hey, look, it's barbecue flavor. Wine pairings. Picture. Looks kind of nice. I think I prefer this picture more myself, but meh. Uh, let's see. Cook skin on salmon fillets, arugula, Granny Smith apple, half pound of sweet potato. That's not actually that much sweet potato. With some of the extras. Also looks fairly easy. 600 calories. That's about right for dinner. Let's see. Preparing ingredients. This is oven based. This one was not. Hmm. So, let's see, that's uh, not too bad, I like shallots. Roasting sweet potatoes, which I've never done, but I don't see a reason why that would be difficult. Making vinaigrette, which I have done before. 
Toasting walnuts is another thing I haven't done before. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. <coughs> Salmon. Okay. This doesn't look too bad at all. Okay. Yes, I assume there's food in here. Hush. And finally, I decided to add some pasta, because pasta. Uh, let's see, mushroom-based tomato sauce. Okay. I'm not usually a huge fan of mushrooms, but they've definitely grown on me. Also, that looks delicious. Carrots and celery. I mean, I could probably make a better sauce myself, but I thought I would give it a try for something that I'm more familiar with. Ah, ooh, more ingredients, ooh. Ah, so it's dehydrated mushrooms. Okay, that's good to know. I'm preparing sauce. Got it, mushrooms first. Good to know. Then vegetables. It's a vegetable-based sauce, which is not my normal, but that's okay. And tomato paste only for tomatoes. Really? That's... Okay, well, I'm definitely going to follow the directions on most of these. Got it, so hydrate, but keep the water. Okay. <laughs> Cook the pasta. And reserve some of the starchy water. Yeah, I've seen that before. Because you can use the water for these things. Okay, interesting. So, that goes aside. Totally keeping those. Here's the little package. Stuck. Yes, these things are still very cold. Good. An advantage of being ambidextrous is that this is actually not that hard for me. I just want to use both hands at once to do two different things kind of my thing. It's kind of sticky. This one's going to be easy for me to use my right hand. Oops. Hey, soon. That's not for you, kitty. Mm, hold on a moment. Let me open this with both hands. Alright, now that it's been opened with both hands, take a look. I see a can. Oh, is this the tomato paste? Yeah, it's the tomato paste. Oh, hey, look, it's the same. No, this is crushed tomatoes. Same brand that I actually buy. One of them. It's cold, too. Let's see what else? We've got arugula. Ooh, everything's labeled, too. That's very nice. Especially for the people that might not recognize some of the ingredients. I, none of these were all that exotic, but I know some of the ones on the website were pretty weird. We've got spinach. Mmm, delicious looking spinach. Baby spinach. Uh, let's see, we've got a carrot and a stalk of celery. That is glorious. Oh, wow. <laughs> Finichini knickknacks. Oh, focus, there we go. Basically, spice packet. Got the barbecue spiced salmon knickknacks. Yeah, and I say both salmon and salmon. Um, I basically have the accents of both of my parental units, which makes things a little weird. Um, we have the chicken takari knickknacks, which I think I'll make the chicken takari tonight. Or maybe I'll make it another night and then record me making it too. We have like three sprigs of green onion. Really? Three? By the way, if you didn't realize, green onion is... Oop, I just snapped that. Oh well. Um, green onion is a synonym of scallions. We've got bulb of garlic. Not squishy. Appearance is rather presentable too. They did a really good job packing this. I can see why they charge so much. Fettuccine. Yep. I see the mushrooms. Mm, mushrooms. 
Mushroom, mushroom. A badger, badger, badger. Oh, sorry, I'm like five years too late. Sweet potato! I actually have some sweet potatoes already, but I appreciate the sweet potato. Mm, what else? Uh, is this rice? Yes, this is rice. Get the label. Jasmine rice. Jasmine. I wonder if Aladdin wonders where she's at. And a Granny Smith apple. Just want to eat the apple. And big old piece of cardboard. Under here, I'm assuming, are the meats. Oh, wow, this is frozen. Um, this is Nordic ice. Oh, it's actually an ice pack. Neat. Huh. Must be how things are kept cold. No, duh, me. But, huh. That's a giant ice pack. Reusable, though. Good to know. Do not... Uh, did that say... Not to be used on body parts. Move that aside. Sorry for the random shot. We have Craftsman Premium Cuts. Premium Chicken Breast Cutlets. Oh, that's two breast cutlets. Is soon? No. Yeah, trying to do this with cats. Might not have been the smartest of my ideas, but whatever. And then this is the Salmon Blaze. Wild Alaskan salmon. Sourced responsibly from our family of trusted fisheries. So one thing that I notice on this is that there are no nutrition facts on most of the packages. I mean, the premium chicken cutlets are the one exception, which is weird because that's the one thing I wouldn't expect to have any nutrition facts on out of this. And then there's another ice thing in the thing. Neat. Focus. Focus. There we go. So that's really nifty. So, basically, all of this. So yeah, um, I may end up doing this tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Saturday, where I have plenty of time to record a cooking vlog. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight. I'd have to decide. In any case, I have now recorded yet another vlog where I am not featured in it whatsoever. At the very least, my cats are, so that's the important part. I will see you some other time. Good night and good kitten.